sorry about that I had to pause um, I thought the recorder had actually um, had an error and I paused the video but I'll continue with this one so um, one of the things that we may want to do is uh, you can take this JSON and if you are using Visual Studio for Windows you will be able to go to create a new class and in that a new class file and in that file you can use the edit menu from Visual Studio there will be edit special and there will be a paste JSON as classes that will actually take your JSON and generate some C sharp classes based on that JSON if you are not using Visual Studio for Windows uh, if you're using for example Visual Studio for Mac um, or Visual Studio Code uh, those probably have extensions to extensions to do something like that or if you don't find any way you can use an online generator that will generate the classes basically this one is you copy the JSON and convert it it will give you the generated class so I already went and did that this is my generated class now in my maps controller you will see that we have the series POA by keyword we have this action okay then I went to the pages in the client project I went to add new file and I added a racer component which is this one maps component I set the page to slash maps I added this basically for now we are just going to return a string and we are going to use to get the string from the map search uh, POI by keyword and you see that if we, mo we modify this one slash keyword equals keyword because it actually had an error and we are capturing an exception in case something occurs just for testing purposes and now uh, okay also in the navigation menu I went and add the maps maps okay so if I run the application I should be able to see the response from that okay so you see that the blazer component or the page is actually already invoking this um, controller endpoint and we are from here invoking Azure Maps and um, actually we got an error in there it says well I don't know what's the error so let's see let's first see the request I believe subscription key was with a dash yeah subscription dash key API version is API yeah, API version query and subscription dash key so API dash version query subscription dash key okay let's use maps okay 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 it's retrieving the results uh, I think it actually failed again so let's see says bad request so let's see what's the difference request URL is HTTP atlas Microsoft PUA slash JSON API okay API version equals uh, okay query equals subscription key 
equals. Okay, uh, so since we are just using a demo, I'm not using exception handling, but the idea will be to use a try catch in there and also always have global exception handling configured from the startup.cs. In that case, if there is any endpoint or any code in your logic that it's not capturing an exception, the global exception handler will always capture the exception and you can actually even modify it in there so the client or the user does not see the real exception because some exceptions could have um, internal details messages that you don't want to expose okay and the result it's there and let's see now we see that we are printing all of the JSON in there now uh, we could do a couple of things we could uh, I need to be able to use these um, need to be able to use those um, models from my client project so I'm just going to move them to the uh, shared project I am going to change the namespace for those classes So they will be on Blazor Azure Maps API demo dot shared dot models dot Azure Maps. So now in my page, I will be able to add a using a statement in here. Models Azure Maps, and instead of using get string async. I am going to be able to use get from JSON async um, get PI response private let's see get PI response PI's list or whoever I want to call it this PI's list equals that put in there something for errors in there this is actually going to be a list of get PI response okay and this is not going to be a string anymore uh, this PI is list for each single POI in this POI list okay we are going to create a new row Um, for now let's do it like that what do we want to print in here let's see actually 
that's not a list yeah that's just the response POIs okay result is the one which is an array and that's the one we are going to iterate and single POI will have things such as POI dot name POI dot tone and POI dot URL and that's it See, I am going to create this there. Name phone URL. So let's see, there is an error somewhere around here. It says the if missing block is missing the close tab. Okay, this is missing, it's closing the for each. And this tag should be after the dip. And that should be that should be, yeah. Uh, name string result does not exist, so yeah. I'm going to change that to an error around here. Leave class. Yeah, I'm going to create another container. Leave class row. is no what's uh, space error message is error message print the container otherwise do nothing we don't have anything named error message at the moment string error message Set. and if something happens every message and for testing purposes we are just going to print the dot to a string from the exception uh, there is one more error somewhere around here time namespace models does not exist okay that's because I moved the classes from namespace uh, from project and namespace actually so I just need to fix that, it's already fixed and it should be able to run the application invoke the code and you see that here now we have name, phone, URL the name for the store along with the phone and the phone and the URL 
uh, there will be some difference that we are not seeing there because we are not printing the actual um, addresses so since we are looking for Starbucks actually all of them are probably going to be named Starbucks and what it's going to change is the address information from those um, <clears throat> from those places something that you may want to see here is that here we are getting information from United Arab Emirates basically we are getting information from a lot of places here so if we only want to filter to a country we could use something like country set and in this case actually um, I'm in Costa Rica so if I set that with country set as with CR, which is the code for Costa Rica, we will see that these will be stores that are in Costa Rica. So this is in the province of San Jose. Uh, we will see some probably in Iridia, uh, Alajuela, other places. See this one is in Alajuela. So, yeah, uh, that's an introduction to using Azure Maps in Azure Maps API from a Blazor application. In further um, videos, we are going to see how to integrate Azure Maps within a Blazor web application. Thank you very much. I hope you like the videos. Please subscribe to the channel, share the videos, like them. And we'll see you soon. Thank you very much and have a great day.